Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're continuing on uh, trying to survive the aftermath in surviving the aftermath. Uh, so we're being attacked by a sandworm right now, but just because that's, you know, so aggro. I wanted to start the episode on, on something relaxing that we could just, you know, really just get into. Um, you know, a nice chill way and gear up to the whole out all of our colonists being eaten by a giant sandworm. You know, let's gear up to that. So I thought I was going to photo mode and we can see our town so far. So there's our medical tent, which uh, they seem to have written medic in blood. So that way you know exactly uh, where you're going. It's, uh, it's a good hint of what goes on in there. Keeps people at ease. Uh, oh, look at him. Kind of little plastic bucket stuff in there. This is our recycler. It's our recycler. All the plastics back here. All the rubbish. This all needs to be sorted through. It's no fun. These are our tents. Recently built. Lovely. Uh, here's a car. Here's a trusted car that finally broke down because they crashed it into a rock. There's our outhouse. There's the famous outhouse. So people are sleeping. You can tell by the giant zeds flying above them. And uh, yeah, these are our these are our emergency shelters. So nothing too great for them right now. Not great living conditions, but but at least they're living, you know. At least they're living. So uh, yes, photo mode. Let's turn that back off. And nope. Let's just let's just back out of there. You can change the time of day and all sorts. Uh, so now there's a sandworm over here. Whoa. Huh? Really? Just can't you run away? Can I tell you to run? I can't. Wow. Yeah, she's definitely gonna die. Boon. Go shoot the sandworm. Is that just gonna get my specialist killed? Because it might. It might. I mean, seriously, look at this. Did I just, like... You know what? They're dead. Can I just ignore that? I'm trying to think. Is there any reason to go near there? Why was she there? Was it for the... Was it for that? And they just happened to get too close. Maybe. Oh, there's more berries there. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of pollution here that should be walking through. But that seems to be the case, like, everywhere. Maybe not over there, but that's so far away. Yeah, grab those berries. That's fine. And yeah, Boone, I guess, don't worry about it. I, I, I'm not going to fight the sandworm that is right there. So, she's going to die. Uh, so, well, I mean, she is dead, but she's going to sit there and rot. Hopefully, no one will mind. <laughs> so, uh, not that exciting. Just, yeah, it just died and then just went back underground. Didn't even eat the body, which is rude, because now we kind of need to build a burial mound so people don't get sad, which is kind of annoying. Um, it's time to take advantage of those big plastic and metal deposits. Build a recycler and start scavenging. Plastic and fiber and a scrapper works the same way, collecting metal and junk. That sounds like, uh, <laughs> that sounds like guys just saying, oh, I like a bunch of metal and junk and like, like plastic and junk. Just, you know, gonna like watch TV and junk. Just doesn't sound like he's actually talking about junk. <laughs> it just sounds like the guy, tutorial guy, is uh, is is a teenager. Dead colonists. So, one of the colonists has sadly died. Build a burial pit before the corpse starts rotting and spreading disease. Alright, sure, way ahead of you. I was going to let them rot out there. Frankly, I'm going to let them rot out there. Okay, so we're starting to stockpile. Plenty of stuff. So this is, uh, this is me being overly cautious, trying to make sure we keep stockpiling things, because I've tried to rush this game basically every time I try to play it and make sure I've always got stuff being built. And I've always ended up having no spare resources at any time and then something terrible happens and then I'm screwed. Every time. So, storage types. A multitude of resources are stored in different storage buildings based on their type. Proper storing ensures the usability and safety of resources as well as preserves food items from rotting. Stockpile. Construction materials like planks and metal. The one on the end there. Food storage. All food types. That one. Warehouse, which is this middle one. Refined items like tools and meds. I don't know what this one is. Might just be a bigger warehouse. But this last one is for uh, pollution. Storing. Waste. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, so I think we've got enough stuff now. So I'm going to build the gate. I'm going to build the gate. Okay, then it means Boone can go out there and and start exploring things. I say that, we'll probably get someone else in our, um, another specialist. 
once we build the gate. So, we'll send Boone or the other one. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Okay, so this should build pretty quickly. So, yeah, game speed, I know, I'm well aware. So we'll put that up. Okay. God, so that's with berries. It's ridiculous. Uh, God, there's a lot of berries kicking around. Actually, like, almost no pollution over in this part of the map. This would be such a nicer place to stay. Maybe we should have just built everything up here. Seems way better. Like, all this area. There's just so much, you know, a lot of cliffs, though. But yeah, we seem to be in, like, the most polluted part of the map. <laughs> Which is wonderful, isn't it? Ah, oh dear. Cost. Emily is infected. With what? Oh, no. I... You know what? It could be because she's there, rotting. It could be the corpse is spreading the infection. Even though we're not very close to it, it might still be affecting us. So that sucks. Burial pit it is, then. Except I can't. I can't risk it. Because there's a sandworm right there. Okay, the sandworm is giving everyone a horrible infection. I'm going to wait until we've got another specialist. And I'm going to have them both try and fight the sandworm. It's probably a terrible idea. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. We've got the gate. We've got the gate built. We did it in the dead of night, apparently. Which is a weird time to make contact with the outside world. While every all of our colonists are asleep. But, sure. Congratulations, you've successfully rebuilt the gate and gained access to the world map. The gate is now open, the vast world, uh, and the vast world ready for your specialists to explore. This progress has not gone unnoticed. Soon your colony will start attracting various folks. A portion good, others desperate. Some tricksters and others who just want to see you destroyed. Oh, good, good. Can't wait to meet them. Arm the gate with colonists or keep some specialists close by to defend yourself from the inevitable raids. Fun. Fun time. And here's an event. A bunch of people just arrived. Survivors are seeking shelter. Three adults and two children. And they do have some supplies. They have brought some beans with them. So, and uh, some meds of some description. I don't know what those are. Antivirals, maybe? Who knows? I finally found out the truth. This is all done on purpose. The world was jealous of us, so they tried to wipe us out. But we're still here. I... Okay, this guy... Bindles O'Hulahan, as I'm calling him. He seems to think that the world was jealous of them, and so decided to kill them or something. I don't know. Whatever. Welcome aboard. You don't have to be crazy. But it helps. Um, cool. So I really hope that infection gets sorted out. Hopefully with the new meds that arrived. That would be good. So there is storage at the gate as well. So you can see there is storage here as well. So uh, you can actually see the items in little boxes here, which I quite like. I like that it does that. Any sort of visual representation of stuff in a city builder I really like. Just seeing the stacks of things built up. Because, you know, it's essentially like having a UI, you know, sort of going, here you go, this is your inventory. But, like, you can just see it organically. I like it. I like it when they do things like that. Uh, so we do have access to the world map now. We do have another survivalist here. Uh, Platy. Platy? Platy. I don't know. Uh, a great Nordic adventurer who claims to have seen the Empress of Sweden before the apocalypse. She is an enthusiastic city designer who would not mind taking her. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Still tired. I mentioned last episode. I have not been sleeping. It has been so just muggy and humid the last few nights. So, uh, she's an enthusiastic city designer who would not mind taking her troops into great wars. She also claims to have been part of a wizarding cult and to have... <laughs> have helped aliens dominate the galaxy. A very talented person indeed. Great. Great. Cool. Okay, you two. Go fight a giant worm, please. Thanks. This is a terrible idea. I'm gonna move them together first. Okay, go fight the sandworm. Is this gonna get us killed? Maybe. Who knows? At least I can get them to run away. Okay, Boone, just hide behind Platy, okay? Just hide behind Platy. You don't need to die for her sake. Okay. Okay, I tried to move him a different direction so they wouldn't be stood in the same place, but... Oh, I guess I might get him. 
Okay, Boone's taking about as much damage as the sandworm is. So let's have him run away. And now she's getting attacked. We can swap. But it seems like he's just going to run away. He's just going to you know, hide again. Okay, she's got a crossbow. That's pretty cool. I think we can get it. We got it. We got it. Excellent. We got the little blighter. Oh, go us. Excellent. But now we need that burial mound, don't we? Alright then, burial mound time. Burial pit, rather. Mound pit. It's, we're burying people. That's the main thing. Okay, put it over here, but not here for some reason. Uneven terrain, apparently. Doesn't look that uneven. But, sure. Sure. If you say so. Um... I guess I'll put it over here. I don't know, do I want it to be nearby anyone? Uh, a modest burial pit where colonists are laid to rest after their earthly struggles come to an end. Having a decent final resting place for those who have passed uh, passed away gives some comfort to the living. Destroying the pit will cause a happiness penalty to the entire colony. Corpses rot away in roughly one week, clearing space for those more recently deceased. And it fits 30 dead. Girl, if we're having more than that die a week, I think we're doing it wrong. Um... I just build it here out of the way, maybe. Let's build it over there. That'll do. Okay. Boom. Done. All right then. Uh, also, we want to build a road over here, don't we? Which you can't. Oh, there's berries in the way. That's why. Fair enough. Boom. That's Boom, not Boone. I'm not talking about our friend Boone. Wherever he is. Oh, is he there too? Yes, they're inside each other. That's fine. That's totally normal. <laughs> Alright, so they're both quite low on health. Which is sort of annoying, because I want to send one of them out in the wild. And I don't want them to get beaten up. So, that's annoying. Hopefully that goes to the, uh, go to the medical tent. Or something. Get healed up a bit. That would be good. I'd like that. Because, yeah, I want to do the exploring bit. The exploring bit's fun. Uh, it feels a lot like... Uh, oh, God, what was it called? There was a Flash game that was on Newgrounds. And they actually brought it out on Steam. Eventually. Like a Steam version of it. Uh, there was like an apocalypse sim. Um, if you guys remember what it is, let me know in the comments. Because I can't remember what it's called. But it reminds me of it. So, hungry mouths, busy hands. Your colonists suddenly approach you and drag you, uh, on, uh, drag you to one of the trees at the edge of the colony. Looking up, you can just barely see a faint silhouette among the brush. A silent thief dressed like an animal who has poached some of your food. Ah. Huh. Hmm. Dressed like an animal, huh? Demand our food back, let them go, or attack the thief. Uh, I'm not sure they're just going to give our food back. If we let them go, they might come back. So I might be able to build a rapport with them. They might be a specialist, for all we know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing here. Uh, or attack the thief? That seems a bit hostile. I don't want to be... I don't want these guys to be a bunch of bandits, but I can't have my food going missing. I do have 180 right now, which is pretty good. Um, although our consumption is higher than our production currently. I'm going to let them go. Minus four happiness. That's not so bad. You take pity on the desperate thief and tell them to keep the food. No one enjoys going hungry after all. Your current is grumble, but head back to the colony nonetheless, as per your instructions. Alright then. You miserable sods. Really, no one was happy with that. You'd think there'd be someone who's like, you know what, fair enough. But nope, they're all miserable. They're all miserable. Jerk. So, barrel pit's done. Good. You can bury Victoria. Yeah. Cause of death, combat. Cause of death, sandworm. <laughs> it's, not a good, it's not a good cause of death, is it? Oh, by the way, the, the um, roads. It's just if there's no other building. Um, like, no other sort of buildings queued. Uh, no other construction queued. They'll just build the roads up. So, 
quite handy to have sort of idle time every now and then. Okay, so we're still collecting a bunch of stuff. How are our specialists looking? Oh, 100% health again. Brilliant. Yeah, alright, out you go, mate. Out you go. He's going to the world map. He's going to go exploring. Uh, I'm going to keep her around, though, for now. Partly because she's injured, and partly because I don't want to get him killed, stupidly. Um, right, so. Now that he's gone. So, you see this green circle? That's important. So, right now, go get beef jerky. Hooray, we got the beef jerky. Um, so we only get um, a certain amount of stuff picked up at a time, but it's just so happened there wasn't actually much there. Um, oh, we did get hurt, though, doing that. Oh, I know. Oh, and then we'll go explore the next area. Um, but yeah, you can only pick up a certain amount of goods from uh, from sort of any, any sort of, uh, I guess, building, any feature um, that you find around the place. It would be like a farm or a town or whatever. Um, you only pick up so much stuff each turn. So if there's like a huge haul of stuff, you have to spend a good few turns slowly emptying the place. But that was very quick. And uh, we will have to return the resources to the town. So he's going to be carrying them for now. So really I should have just left that there and picked it up on the way home from somewhere. But that's fine. So that's all we can do here for now. So now we go back to our town. Time begins again here. And this keeps moving. And now it's filled up. So now that that green ring has filled up around the world map thing, that means that our action points have replenished. And that's how you know. The, that'll just go around again, and then we'll get more action points on this map. So it's a mixture of real-time and turn-based, but done in quite an elegant way, because just the turns refresh, depending on the real-time stuff, like during the real-time portion of the game. Uh, so it's kind of cool. But also, we can, we can just leave him stood there up until, like... You know, at any point before that green circle fills up the ring again and move at any point. So there's, the circle could be any amount of filled. Um, so we don't have to do it immediately. You know, if you want to just finish setting some stuff up, it's it's all good. Um, let's go over here, see what's going on. What have we got? Some tools over there. We don't really have any tools. So, well, we've got seven actually. Sorry, I thought it was a one. Um, oh wow, hunting rifles and shotguns count as tools, huh? Fair enough. Fun box. I want some fun boxes. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to explore more areas. Oh yeah, so un like revealing a place, like scouting an area out, that, that counts as his turn done. So uh, back over here then. Right. Good stuff. Adjusting worker slots. I'm well aware of that. We have spoken about that. Uh, so later on, when we start getting some research... Uh, oh no, the scrapper itself is getting polluted. Well, that sucks. Anything around here? No, everything else seems okay. But yeah, I think it's because this is so close to the pollution that this is bringing back pollution. So, got to be careful here. Yeah, he might be in trouble. Hmm. Alright. Uh, so yeah, we can get rid of that. Oh, and also we have someone stationed here to defend. We can station more people if we want. So that's cool. Okay, let's speed it right up, because nothing's happening right now. In fact, I suppose something should be happening. We should be building something, right? Um, Let's build a water tower. I want some water storage built for these guys. Uh, Alright, let's build it over here. Actually, let's, let's build over here. Oh. Religious fanatics march towards the colony. Oh, no. Oh, dear. What's going to happen here? Bandit raid. Bandits have arrived at the gate. And there is a good chance the conflict will escalate into a firefight. Call specialists home and upgrade the gate's defenses to fend off the attackers. Good luck. Oh, thanks. Thanks for helping, tutorial boy. Um... So, specialist ready for action. I could have him return. And that would be a good help. So, let's do that. There he is. <laughs> Those of him there. Where's our other specialist? There she is. Uh, you come over here too. Uh, I'll fill that up too. Because we've got time. Because, again, this needs to, 
you know, this needs to fill up. Alright, so, uh, we could offer them resources, 25 fiber, but can't do it. <laughs> we don't have it. We don't have the resources they're demanding. So, the fanatics arrive at your doorstep, their chant having grown even louder and more aggressive. Love the illustrations, by the way. I always say this whenever I play games with illustration. I love illustration in games, okay? Big fan of it. Big fan of it, so good. Points there. Uh, anyway, uh, their chant having grown even uh, louder and more aggressive, their leader, a man with pure murder in his eyes, raises his hand to silence the others. Uh, We're predators of the new world. Through us it will be cleansed of parasites and be born anew. He's, uh, he's either an orc or, or the the pitcher, one or the other. Um, I guess I'll insult their costume party and see what happens. The fanatics let out enraged screams uh, of war, probably, though few do turn their heads down rather self-consciously. The leader... Wow, that is quite funny that some got put off by that. The leader raises his weapon. Mock us as much as you like. It makes no difference. Prepare to be cleansed. Oh, don't set fire to my house, you... You butt. Alright, you gonna shoot him? Flippin' heck. Did we do it? I think we got him? I guess? They didn't seem to do anything. But we triumphed, so... Alright. That was a bit strange. Not really sure what happened there. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can go to the world map now. So, we need to repair that. It's going to take three metal. And yeah, you just hang out for a bit. Uh, you there. Go explore. Research? Research. Ah, oh, okay, so, as you can see, at the bottom, right, obviously as soon as I move the cursor to point at the thing, it goes away, so... Use the eagle eyes. So you can see with the big arrow there, there's a 300 next to the, the research icon there. Uh, that's how much she is going to be able to grab each each time we tell her to loot this. But, there's 455 in that building. You can see the, 300, the 455 on the little icon in the circle pointing to the building. That's how much is in the building, and it also shows how much we will be taking. So, there you go. So we'll be taking that, and the research means we can start unlocking new buildings. And improving buildings. Researching. <laughs> so, pretty good. Pretty good. So, yeah, okay, things are going okay. We fought a sandworm, we, you know, we sent some people exploring. He's loitering, I kind of want him to heal up a bit. But, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't send all my specialists away. Maybe he's just going to sit here for a bit. He's at the rest. And specialists ready for action again. Okay, go get me some research. So we have it right away. So unlike other resources, we don't have to have her run back. Okay, we don't need to bother with that. Which is great. So we click research and start doing something. So, what on earth are we going to get first? What are we going to do? So, uh, nurses is quite cool. It'll give us more work slots in the medical tent. So that keeps us covered in case there's like a pandemic or something hits. I know, a bit close to home, but it is what it is. Uh, production. Uh, crowbars add production speed to scrappers and recyclers, and they'll unlock additional things we could do, like better capacity in stockpiles, scavenger teams, extra work slots for scrappers and recyclers, reclaimable materials, let's get more metal from scrappers. So there's, you know, plenty of things to just sort of upgrade stuff, but also we can start getting solar and wind power, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty awesome. Also, um, batteries as well. So there's plenty of things we can do. A sawmill, so we get like a bunch of um, planks done. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff we can do. But I want to kind of get to basic farming, because this is something I haven't built before, and I want to do farms. Uh, in all the other times I was playing here, I think I did... Yeah, I think I did this stuff and started heading towards hazmat engineering. That's what I sort of went straight to. But this time, I want to get some farms, even though I don't think I've ever had so much pollution in the middle of my house is this, so maybe that's the thing I should be doing. Maybe. Maybe I should be doing that. Okay, fine. I'll do nurses. You convince me. Uh, heavy tops, also kind of nice. Puts up durability of tents and emergency, set up, uh, emergency shelters. And the weatherproof seams also make the repair cost a lot better. Because they do get, they do get battered pretty quickly. Though the only, the only thing I've really seen batter anything 
uh, any of my buildings in this game was a bunch of meteorites falling from the sky because of course <laughs> you know of course that would happen so um, yeah I don't know how much damage they would take from other stuff because I don't know what other stuff is you know I don't know what other stuff could happen that would damage buildings um, because I've had plagues and things hit me before as uh, as my catastrophes um, did you refresh? No, you didn't. I just wanted to check. No, I've got it going quite slow again. Uh, so we've got more stuff piling up. Although, hang on a minute. That's red. That won't do. Alright, where are we going to get more food from? That's not food. That was the lumber. That was the lumber. So we can get more planks over here. So I guess I'll do that. Cool. Is that everything? Yeah. Yeah, still getting berries from somewhere, I believe. I'd assume. <laughs> Hopefully. One would guess. Uh, food storage. Oh, wait. There's nothing there. Okay. We need to move that as well. Um, God. Sucks a bit, huh? Oh, that's okay. Was that there before? Probably. Probably. Though I could very well have just um, missed it completely. I don't know if they grow back at all. They might grow back. Although these ones haven't. But I did put fish on top of them, so who knows. Who really knows? Who really knows? Although fish is actually good fertilizer. So it's really that we're removing the fish that's probably probably the real problem. Uh, okay, specialist is ready again. So, more research. Excellent. That's pretty good. So we got another 350 research. That's really handy. That is super useful. Uh, so, we construct the water tower as well. Now, I'm thinking we want some more, uh, like, other sort of specialist buildings. Um, hmm, I just don't like all the pollution around here. It's just everywhere there's nice open space. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. But it's very far away. This isn't too bad, actually. Maybe this should be where we put... Well, just here, actually. Just where there's already a forest. We'll use that, I think. So actually, let's not build the forester first. Let's build the lumber yard first. That makes sense, right? Uh, we'll put it on this barren area because we can't build farms or anything there. So we might as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's smart, right? Let's do that. Cool. Okay, come on, road. Don't fail me now, road. Uh, we'll do that. Cool. Good stuff. So yeah, we want to start getting uh, lumber from trees instead now. That's what I want to do. Also, let's change the radio again. Wild Frontier. Let's see what that's like. I like the different radio stations. <laughs> it's subtle, but it's uh, it's nice. Uh, okay, we got more research queued up. So, communal living will unlock better housing. So we can get shanties or tenements. Uh, do we want shanties or tenements? Probably. Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, survival skills. Let's get to farming. So it'll be 150 to get to basic farming. Let's do that and basic farming. Uh, more work slots for the trapper would also be quite nice. But Now let's just try and get to farms. And then we can do better planting speed, huh? We get fiber from trappers as well. Using every bit of the animal is not only respectful, but also smart. Meat can be eaten and skins turned to fiber by processing the carcass properly. Fair enough. Fair enough. I've heard that uh, there's many ways to skin a cat. It's the apocalypse, guys. Don't judge me. Uh, right, come on, Lumberyard. Let's get you up and about. Let's get, let's get limber, people. You're all too hot, aren't you? Or is that stinky? Are you all stinky? Colonists have a hard time taking care of their hygiene in the wasteland. Filthy colonists quickly become discontent and are more prone to catching various diseases. Help them out by building an outhouse. What do you think this is? Guys, stop being stinky. I guess we need another one, because they don't want to use it. Unless that's a bug. Could be a bug, because, like I said, this patch is like... It basically just came out. So, you know. Uh, we'll put it by the medical tent. Makes sense. Alright. 
You gonna you gonna de-stink? He's de-stunk. All right, specialists. You there? Keep exploring. And all right, some metal sheets there in a in an old army barracks that looks like the uh, the barracks from um, uh, from Commander Conquer. Red Alert. That's what that is. Okay, you go over there. Oh, there's a remake of that, huh? There's a remaster. I keep forgetting about that. I used to play the crap out of Commander Conquer when I was a kid. Red Alert was my jam. Loved that game. So good. Still, still fantastic soundtrack. Holds up. Holds up. Um, behold, science. Oh, we did a science. No, that's not the science button. Quick, guys, we need to do a science. Basic farming. Hooray. Good stuff. Insufficient construction materials for the outhouse. What are we missing? Oh, wood. Of course it is. Of course. Because, yeah, once again, they've run out. And I didn't notice. Uh, Alright. That should keep you guys busy for a while. Good. Because yeah, I don't think we can make concrete. So the fact that we have ample concrete... Uh, oh, we don't have that ample concrete anymore. Not really. Yeah, we're still going to have to scavenge concrete for a while. Because we have no means of making that. We have no means of making that. So, bit of a problem. Bit of a problem. Uh, we got no one homeless, do we? I think, no, everyone's got a home. Yeah, I think those tents actually gave us enough. So that's good. Okay, specialist. Yeah, keep exploring. Oh, you can't quite reach. That's as that far as you can move. Alright. So yeah, things are going well, I'd say. No, no catastrophes yet. I mean, we did get attacked by bandits, but generally, things are all right. Things are all right. Deposit depletes to berries. That's never a good sign. Uh, right. Um, berries. 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 Oh no, Leo's injured. What happened, Leo? Oh, you broke something. Well, go to the go to the medical tent. Get patched up. Good lad. Good lad. Uh, outhouse has been finished. I mean, no one's stinky anymore. I don't know what made them all stinky. Oh, also, did we bury that last... Okay, someone's actually working there. You don't need to work there. We're not having so many people dead that we need a like a permanent undertaker. That's ridiculous. Flippin' heck. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah, back to full strength. Good, good. Specialist is ready again, so she can actually explore. And, oh great, there's more metal. We don't need more metal from that little town. Uh, Alright, there next. That is just a radioactive bog, so probably won't bother going there. Um, don't think that's that useful to us, somehow. Okay, excellent. Move work area. Uh, yeah, stop. You know, start chopping. Go nuts. And we'll start getting a bit sparse, we can start building foresters. Uh, which is nice. We're going to leave these alone. We're going to leave this alone, because that's where our trapper is operating. But, uh, yeah, everywhere else. Brilliant. Okay, so I think, although nothing is going, uh, nothing is going wrong, there's no cliffhanger. You know, everything's fine. Uh, I think we're going to end here. So, I love this. Let's go back to photo mode, because I, I like photo mode. Isn't that great? Also, let's, uh, where is it? FOV. We can zoom in. Zoom right in. So that's nice. Hide UI. Okay, that. I think we get a lower view, but actually that's as low as we can get. But, oh well. That's kind of cool anyway. So there we go. So there we go, guys. There's a town. There's our new gates with our bear flags. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.